Welcome to another Two Fat Guys in the Morning review. Today's review is the Night Morpher Commander at KM01 by Mastermind Creations. Better, this, better known to comic readers possibly as Hearts of Steel Optimus Prime. Right. This is, says it's not a toy for all ages 18 plus, adult collectible, blah blah blah. I paid $84.99 for this thing on Big BBTS. Big Bad Toy Store. Okay. Comes with instructions inside a, what is that, card poker brand card holder. Little uh, tidbit of information. Don't lose this visor. It goes on the head of, of uh, Optimus here. I'll call him Optimus because we all know. The instructions feel very cheap. They look, well, it looks like a photocopy. Yes, unfortunately for how dark it is, as you can see, a lot of the detail gets lost in how dark the print is. Yep. Not very, not very appealing looking itself. Huh, okay. Well, let's do this. Check this bad boy out. After reading a lot of reviews, I decided to pick this guy up because, well, Everyone said it was the best thing since sliced bread. I already noticed this this tire wasn't put in right. It looks like it's gonna fall off its little spool there. Can you see that? You move your finger down a bit. There you there go. There we go. That way you can see that it's not parallel with the others. Now on the bottom you don't have that issue. Just on that top side. Top there. side. But look, even this one. Check out this tire. It's sticking all the way out when this one isn't. Try getting that from a slightly different angle just to give an idea. And it's a little hard to catch that sort of detail with this. See it? Yes, yeah, so now you can see that on this side the wheel sits flush up against the figure, but on this side it's loose and sitting away from there. You can actually see the light in between the parts there. Yes. Yep. Let's see if this. Nope, look. This wheel does not come down at all. That's pretty sad. You can also tell here, look at the arm pieces. You see that gap that sort of goes and gets bigger as you go back? Yeah, it's not supposed to be like that, people. That's quality issue. Look. See that? It's opening by itself. Okay. That, that has a gap, too. Okay. All right. Pull it down. This back opens up, and there's his cannon piece, which, wow, it's not straight either. See the little gap opening up there? It's kind of crooked. Yes, you can actually noticeably see a bend in it where that should probably be a straight piece. A real-life cannon that had a bend like that to it wouldn't be able to shoot. Nope. His shield... His sword from the other reviews is in here. Okay, push that out. There's. I want to put this in. You can see a gap already opening here. See, there's no gap here. Gap, gap, then gap. Okay, this part comes off actually and becomes the handle for the sword or the lance. This lance feels mighty suspicious here. I'm afraid it might break. It's mighty weird. I believe this piece goes back in here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Optimus Prime. Optimus. Okay. Here's another issue. It's closed on this end, open on this. Doesn't look like it was screwed in place. This wheel was just, I don't know. Okay. From the other reviews I've seen, open up the back, pop out that, close this off, pop out the body oh yeah that loose that wheel is all loose and there you just saw that wheel just spin itself around without any pressure other than pulling the legs down from the figure 
Yep. Okay, this becomes his gun. Flip this close, and then this part just close off. It's actually a pretty cool looking gun to give them credit. Yes. Okay. Opens this up. This opens up from this side. Okay, just that one. Okay, and that's prime. Uh -oh, forgot his head. <laughs> okay, there's the removable matrix, and it's not removable. It took off the whole darn piece, and it's broken. I know you can see that from the edge there. There's a silver piece that's broken or looking about to break off. I guess it's not removable. <laughs> right. Okay. Alright. Well, his left arm is loose. Yep. Right arm isn't. Left arm is. Yes, that one's pretty easily evident. Yep. It has a forearm joint. Oh, no. It's already too hard. Yep, that forearm joint. Yep, it's created creases already in the plastic. That forearm joint is too tight. It's actually opening up the arms. Look at that, too. Yes, no other Optimus Prime figure. Did you have to worry about splitting the arms open just from transforming him? Look at that. Again, a noticeable gap that goes that gets bigger the further up you go. This one doesn't have it. You can tell the gap difference there. Wow. I am seriously disappointed with this. I in no way blame BBTS for this, uh, but... This may not even be an issue with all of the figures, which is part of the reason we're posting this video. We would also like to inv encourage and invite anybody else who's ordered this figure, give us your feedback. Have you also had issues with this figure? Are your issues the same as ours? Do you have a different set of issues that you found wrong? Or even for those of you who got a flawless copy of this toy that has none of these issues, we'd also like to hear from you as well. It does have a lot of articulation. It certainly does. And to their credit, this is a nice looking toy as far as the toy design itself goes. It looks very good, a lot like its car comic book counterpart. It's just a lot of QC issues. Right. It, Quality for, control on this, this thing was forgotten. Yes. Just, and they did a pretty massive run of this toy, so you know you would think, or at least hope that they had somebody examining every finished product, or as many of them as they could, trying to catch stuff like that. If anything, I would tell BBTS, look out for this company, because, I mean, if they don't care about their figures enough for them to do this junk, Imagine what else they're going to be sending to BBTS, which makes BBTS look bad. Or any other online retailer. Any that online retailer. Because it for that right. matter. Because it's, it's just bad. I mean, the other arm doesn't... I mean, yes, it has some... Well, there's a little bit of play to it, but it's not as glaringly bad yeah. as that one. Yeah, that's just... I don't know. Um, very disappointed in it. It, I, maybe if it didn't have the QC issues, I would love this figure, but because of the glaring quality control problems, this is just a bad figure. I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. Save your money. Uh, it's just not worth it, people. Thank you, and don't buy this figure. <laughs>